Well, a West Michigan hockey team getting ready to start up its 47th season after canceling last year due to COVID-19. Our Lauren Coomer joins us live at the Wings Event Center ahead of Saturday's big home opener. Lauren, good morning. Good morning, Tessa Ruta. Saturday is the first game that the Kalamazoo Wings will be inviting fans back into their stadium since March of 2020. I'm joined here by John Peterson with the Kalamazoo Wings. He's a broadcaster. John, good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you guys have been preparing for this first game. Yeah, it's a little strange because with the year off for us, it's been 591 days since our last official game when we dropped the puck on Saturday. So for us, it's a lot of kind of renewing what we already know and making sure we get it right, shaking the rust off, if you will. Um, luckily, we were able to get a preseason game last weekend under our belt. So um, it's a lot of things to, to make sure we don't miss. Um, Fan Fest is going to be a blast on Saturday, and uh, I know our fans are looking forward to getting back here and watching this team. Talk a little bit about what Fan Fest is for people who um, might not know. Yeah, so it's before our home opener. The, the puck drops at 7, but Fan Fest starts at 4.30. We'll have a, a, one of those smash cars where we'll have Toledo's colors painted all over the car, and fans can come and smash the car with a sledgehammer. Uh, we'll have axe throwing. We'll have a player red carpet. We'll have some live music. Um, so it's a blast. Um, we'll have some food and beverages as well. So it's a nice way to kind of get everybody in the building and excited for the game to start meet the players if you will and then um, when the puck drops it's it's back to uh, back to business anything the fans need to know about coming out to the game on Saturday any restrictions I know we're currently still in a pandemic so <laughs> yeah masks are recommended and we encourage uh, fans to wear masks especially if they're not eating and drinking but they're not required um, at this moment we're not uh, requiring vaccination status um, proof of vaccination or a proof of a negative test but again we're, we're encouraging fans if they're not feeling well to stay home uh, catch an another game later on uh, but we'd love to see as, as many people as we can assuming everybody is is healthy and um, Again, masks are recommended but not required. And then you guys are starting. Um, the home opener is against the Toledo Walleye. Talk about that. It's a rivalry that you guys have had. So um, how have players been preparing for that? Yeah, the team's been hard at work. Um, we saw them twice last weekend, once at home and once in Toledo. Uh, it's a great team, well run. Um, it's, a, it's a rivalry that's been budding and, and building throughout the last several years. So it's one that I know our fans are excited about, their fans are excited about. And with the close proximity, you'll see fans travel to Toledo when we're on the road or their fans will come here. So I'm sure we'll see some of their, some of their colors in the building on Saturday as well, but hopefully we outnumber them. All right. Thanks so much, John. And doors do open at 6 p.m. on Saturday. The game starts at 7. And if you're interested in buying tickets, you can head over to our website, fox17online.com. We'll have more information there. Reporting live in Kalamazoo, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News. I love seeing her out on the ice. I know. I love.